Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding Hero Pairs for Season 2, uh, Season 2 Plus. It's been a while since uh, the game came out and every new season there is new meta uh, Hero Pairs and I will be speaking regarding each by one, why they are so good and what makes them so interesting and so powerful that they are meta right now. Uh, first of all, I will speak regarding uh, Marksmen. For Season 2 Plus, there is one hero pair which is way above any other, uh, which is Sindrion uh, as a primary hero and Fragar as a secondary hero. Why they are so strong? First of all, they are auto-attack based um, legion, they just stand there and out dealing auto attack, dealing a lot of crit damage, and they are absolutely monsters, right? For example, like we're gonna, I'm gonna speak briefly about their skills and why they are so strong. First of all, Syndrion as a primary hero has a great talents, uh, which is like marksman and precision. Even Rally is a great, great uh, talent. So. As a primary hero, marksman and precision or even precision and half to marksman will be great. But let's dig, 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 dig inside and uh, let's see why they are so strong. Uh, whenever like Sindrion is dealing uh, normal attack damage, he is getting keen for 7 seconds and keen is giving 20% more damage. Again, here def defense penetration is always a great thing to have. An attack bonus as a 10% is amazing, but this skill is for Stronghold. This is the only bad skill which uh, Syndrion currently has, because we can't use this skill on the battlefield. Uh, after that, passive skill, crit rate and HP for Marksman, 10% and 15%. And again, at 20% uh, attack bonus and rapid fire for 3 seconds. Uh, every time Syndrion's Legion lands 5 critical hit from normal attack, they deal additional damage to target 400. So, as you can see, Syndrion and Fragar is all about uh, hitting as much normal attack as possible, while uh, they are uh, giving buffs to crit. So, like, you have beefy marksmen uh, who are critting with enemies, and also, uh, what's important, both of them are season 2 heroes, and... It's not a mistake, it's not a coincidence that in Season 2 Plus, mainly Season 2 Heroes will be popular. Like, uh, second tier in Marksman uh, Hero Pairs is of course Nico and uh, Kinara, but they are less popular than Syndrion and Fre Fregar, uh, simply because they are newer heroes uh, and they are more usable because people are having fun with new heroes, okay? So, if you don't have Syndrion, if you don't have Fregar, you can always go to Nico and Kinara. They are skill damage factor uh, heroes, which are giving a lot of defense break uh, with Nico and with Kinara too. Uh, so, like, there is a second uh, option for yourself if you want to play uh, for uh, another marksman hero pair. Uh, now we're gonna speak second the season 2 plus uh, meta hero pairs, which is again uh, Lilia and Welin. Uh, nothing will change until new uh, mage heroes will come out later this season. Again, still in mages, Lilia is, and Welin is most popular one, uh, simply because Lilia has amazing talents, magic and skill. Both of them we need to upgrade. Peacekeeping is non-existence for us because Lilia is a fighting hero. Uh, currently, I don't have Lilia because I don't spend any money to in this game. I'm trying to play as a free-to-play, 100%. Not gonna pay even $1. Uh, so, like, um, Lilia and Welin is like pure damage, okay? Uh, even when uh, we're gonna uh, upgrade Welin on Awakened, uh, Welin is gonna give freeze uh, to the enemies, which is gonna slow their movement speed. And Lilia is all about dealing as much uh, magic damage as possible. This is like this uh, Lilia and Dwelling have been uh, meta for a beta season, season one, season one plus, season two. So like anything, any season has been in the Call of Dragons. Lilia and Dwelling has been the best heroes. I think it will change whenever new mage legendary heroes will come out. But for now on. We don't have anything new in mage section, uh, 
Uh, that's why I still think that Lilia and Welin is the best hero pairs for mages. Uh, secondary uh, hero pairs, which are gonna work perfectly fine, especially if you are not spending any money into the game, will be Waldir and Welin, uh, especially because it's easy to awaken Epic Hero, and whenever Waldir is awakened, you are dealing, uh, deal dealing damage to two nearby legions, also inflicting Gloom, which is uh, minus 20% attack for two seconds so if you don't have Lilia you can always go to the Waldir Elwellin which will work perfectly fine uh, simply because Waldir is a, uh, a lower level and lower powerful uh, than Lilia magic and skill here and Waldir also has a magic and skill and Lilia has peacekeeping Waldir have uh, PvP so uh, Waldir can work perfectly fine, that's the main reason I'm not buying Lilia, because I think Waldir can work. So this is like second hero pair, uh, like first is Lilia and Wolin, and other one is Waldir and uh, Wellin. Uh, regarding uh, uh, third hero pair, which is <clears throat> amazing in my opinion, will be Cavalry hero pair. A newest hero, Forondil, will uh, be in the front as a primary hero. Forondil and Bakshi is a great, great pair, simply because Bakshi is giving a lot of rage accumulation speed, and rage accumulation speed is amazing for uh, Forondil. Uh, if you don't have, for example, uh, Bakshi, and you just got Forondil uh, in the beginning of the season, you can always, always use Emrys as a secondary hero, because Emrys is helping to accumulate rage speed as fast as possible too. Uh, so you, I'm, I'm saying like uh, one hero pair is always as a meta hero pair, like whales and people who are spending money, they are playing with Forondil and Bakshi, but if you are just like me as a free-to-play player who are trying to upgrade skills slowly, then I'm gonna suggest you like second tier meta um, hero pairs, that's why I'm saying two in a uh, one uh, unit type, right? So first is Forondil and Bakshi, uh, and second is Forondil and Emrys. In general, I think Forondil can be used in many different uh, ways of playing this game, simply because Forondil is a flying hero, uh, and flying heroes has a many different aspects in the game where we can use them. But we are speaking in terms of fighting, in, ter in terms of strengths in the battlefield, that's why I'm suggesting Forondil with Bakshi, with a lot of skill damage, with a lot of rage accumulation. And if we don't have Bakshi, uh, there are another hero pair which is gonna work perfectly fine, will be Forondil and Emrys. Now, uh, the fourth uh, hero pair, which is uh, newest in the game, uh, infantry hero pair, is... Um, Goresh and Skolgul, nothing surprising, they are both uh, from the Orc faction, uh, that's how I call them. Um, Goresh is like, I think it will be as a primary hero, and Skolgul is a secondary hero, uh, mainly because I like infantry and tank uh, talents on a primary hero. Tank talent is amazing, it helps you to stay alive as much as possible. And Skolgul, I think, is all about damage, is all about dealing as much damage as possible. And I already have a guide for Skolgul, and I say there that it's important for Skolgul's legion to stay alive because uh, counterattack damage will deal a lot of damage. So first and main uh, trend and main meta infantry heroes are Goresh and Skolgul. And secondary, if we don't have, like, as you see, I don't have Goresh because I don't spend in the game. I got lucky and I got Skolgul. But uh, let's say we don't have a season 2 heroes, what we should do? In Season 2+, plus, again, uh, Madeline and Nika is a great, great hero pairs. Still uh, dealing a lot of damage, dealing, uh, uh, staying alive a lot, simply because Madeline has a, a Legion uh, capacity bonus up to 15,000. Uh, it's amazing for a battlefield. And um, as a third option, uh, Garwood and... Uh, Eliana will work simply because both of them has shields, both of them are healing each other, and it's super super tanky uh, hero pair for you to try. Uh, first option is uh, Goresh and Skolgul, 
second option is Nika is Madeline and Nika, and third option is uh, Garwood and Eliana. Uh, all of them will work. All of them will do its job. But uh, but as I say, first option is always best. Second option is little bit worse, and third option is worse than previous two. Uh, regarding like last hero pairs, which is which I think can be uh, useful in the battlefield uh, is a flying heroes, right? Uh, Forondil and Thea, or Thea and Forondil can be amazing hero pair. Uh, people are not playing a lot of flying units right now, but I think they will do more and more. That's why it is not uh, so popular uh, as in the, in the end of the last season, but I think it will catch up. We will get more flying heroes in the future. And it will be a really, really fun uh, playstyle to play with. So, uh, first, I will say that primary heroes like Marksman was Sindrion, Sindrion and Fregar. Uh, mages are Lilia and uh, Welin. Um, infantry is uh, Goresh and Skogul. Uh, and cavalry is Forondil and uh, Bakshi. This is all I wanted to speak with you guys because for my server it's been like a couple of days since new season just started. Uh, that's why I wanted to share my opinion and my uh, view regarding meta hero pairs, which I think will help you in the future. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, thanks for watching, and I will continue doing what I have been done in, in this uh, last six months. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.